So, in today's episode, um, I would like to introduce you guys to a photo book called In Color in Japan, uh, photographed by Shinoguchi. It's based on Kamakura, Japan, and I stumbled upon his photographs on Instagram a few years back. And ever since then, I became a fan of his work. The book is published by iShot Magazine from Italy, and the books were printed as a limited edition of 500 copies only. And I ended up getting one, uh, copy 477, I believe. And they're all sold out and no longer available. But if you're interested in owning a piece of his photograph, his prints are available on his website. Anyways, um, I thought it was a neat idea to introduce you guys to the book and walk through the photos together. If you'd like to know more about the photographer Shindoguchi, I've written his Instagram address and website address in detail. He um, mainly takes photographs of his daily life, uh, just ordinary things that we see each and every day. He also takes a closer uh, photos of his families as well. However, uh, he captures those moments with his sense of humor and hint of obscurity. His photos makes you wonder and it also feels mysterious at times. He's a color photographer. Um, I think his colors are clean well saturated and has this restrained feeling and I'm not talking about the uh, colors of the film stock or the uh, color signs of the scanner not to say but he does use Kodak Portra 400 and he uses Leica AMP with Zoomicron 35mm I think it was the uh, fourth generation but that doesn't matter, right? Anyways, the um, color that I'm talking about is how he sees and captures the colors of the world that we see. And I think in order to take color photos, you gotta have some sense in colors. And he's good at it. Shin Noguchi's photos taught me to see the world in a new way. Um, you know, uh, when you're learning about photography, we're constantly trying to find a style that we like and want to learn about the visual aesthetics, you know, trying to look for that visual signature. I think this was said by, uh, Ralph Gibson. Um, Shindo Uchi's photos felt different. Um, I don't know if the different the right term but I guess I was able to appreciate it more or maybe relate to his photographs more because I'm in the neighborhood country Uh, I mean I spent most of my time growing up in LA but I was fortunate to uh, have this bicultural background and was able to understand you know the, the American culture and Asian culture um, I've done some personal studies and dissected uh, photographs of the masters from the European and North American photographers to really learn their uh, visual minds, you know. It's like the essential classics. And I guess um, Shin Noguchi's photos felt fresh um, because his works felt more modern. And also because it was all happening now, like right now, we're in the same era, we exist at the same time, not like Winogran or Bresson. I have learned to observe people's gestures and body language more by looking at Shin Uchi's photographs. Also, I learned to see the relationship between the environment and the scenes and moreover I learned to take a closer look at the country's culture and the subculture 
and embed it into my work. I guess other people might have similar inspiration or that kind of feeling from、um, Elliot Erwin and Martin Parr. And Shin Noguchi is that kind of photographer for me. I also like and share similar thoughts and agree with his philosophy on photography. These are not his exact words, but this is how I perceived it, and from my understanding. Whatever the photos that we take, it's because we felt something inside, and that feeling is uniquely ours. It doesn't matter if the photos look good or bad, all that matters is that we have felt something special within. And simultaneously, when the shutter is pressed, we're confirming our own existence in the world at the same time.
And if you want to look more of uh, Shinobuchi's photographs, I recommend visiting his website. On the website, there's this section that says photo essays. And I was very much impressed by his photo essay titled, Dad with Lung Cancer. In short summarized sentence, Shin Noguchi, uh, he managed to take his dad's photographs for the last three years of his dad's life. And I felt this complexity of emotions observing uh, this intimate and private photographs of his family. I really appreciate that he uh, put this together and made it into a, a project and was able to share with the world and I pay so much respect to Shinoguchi to what he has accomplished 